Hi everybody, I'm Christy Hager. I'm a, an artist here in Missoula. And um, I invite you to come and see this exhibit when you can. It will be up uh, until early February, so you have some time. And it really is an experience to walk through it. Um, so, yeah, please leave. Well, the, the title of this show is uh, Equal, a Work in Progress. And I was inspired because I realized in 2017, it, it just occurred to me again, that the Equal Rights Amendment that was tried to be passed by all the states um, starting in 1972. It, never, it had never been passed. We still don't have an Equal Rights Amendment, which allows for um, equal treatment uh, regardless of sex in, in the entire United States, an amendment to the Constitution. So I wanted to do a tribute to women, and that's why this show is all women. I think what's special about art is that it's, it's a, it is a cultural expression. It can speak to you uh, without words, it can, uh, like music, um, visual art. Uh, and so it can communicate on many levels besides the written word. And also, as a cultural um, expression, it can um, touch you in a way that reading the law is still abstract. And um, so this is a, a very non-abstract representation of, of uh, these women's humanity. And what I feel is their very unambiguous birthright, which is equality and which is, which is all people's birthright. So this fabric is a um, cotton scrim. It's it's actually called tobacco cloth because I think it's it's a cloth that was first designed to shade tobacco. Uh, so it filters light through it, and um, I liked it because you could see the images from both directions and I knew I wanted these to hang in space rather than being against the wall. So as you walk around them, you can see them from both sides. And um, also I felt that uh, this transparency, um, it made me think of just that our time each of our time on the planet is relatively short. And the um, working for justice and equality takes many ge generations. So I wanted to show these generations in relation to each other so that you could see this sort of through one face and one generation to another and see how we're all connected. Christy, do you want to talk a little bit about why you chose um, to include some historical figures or um, women that you didn't know personally? Well, um, there's there's only two women in the show that I oh. know personally, and that's my great grandmother hmm. um, and uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And I really wasn't sure that I should do a portrait of a famous person. And, um, but because of the Equal Rights Amendment and her specific work um, as a lawyer before she became Supreme Court Justice, I felt like I was drawn to do her portrait. And so I just said, I'm going to do it. If it doesn't work in the exhibit, Fine, I, I have to do a portrait just because she means so much to me. And so I, I had the disadvantage of not having ever met her and not 
being able to take her portrait because when I take a photograph of my friends, I'm in control of the lighting and the gaze and everything. But she had a lot of formal portraits done and I was able to find one that I felt would work. And um, so I'm, I'm really, um, it's very important to me at this time to have this portrait done and be included in this show as he was a champion of equality for everybody, uh, but she was always aiming to uplift women because she, she experienced a lot of discrimination. She graduated at the top of her class at law school and couldn't get a job in New York because she was a woman and a mother and Jewish. And her first, then she got a job in academia, her first teaching job, because she couldn't get a job in the law office. And they said, well, we're going to hire you, but we're going to pay you less because your husband has a good job. And so as a woman on the faculty, uh, law faculty, you're gonna get paid less than the men. It, it's, it's just the way it was, and it's still not over <laughs> uh, in terms of equal pay. So um, I, I think that having her in the show has, um, is an especially poignant at this time.